Have you ever worked for a place where you went in every day and gave it 110%? You worked hard physically, worked hard mentally, and you worked smart. Maybe you were assured you'd be getting a good raise later or a promotion, and then years go by with no raise, no promotion, and ever decreasing gratitude for the effort that you put in. Most of us were taught from a young age that hard work pays off, but then as an adult you find out that's not always the case. My brother worked in a couple of union shops, which thankfully we don't have too many of here in Texas, but he would actually get in trouble for doing things like running two machines or sweeping the floor while his machine was running. And no matter how hard he worked, he could not be promoted until all of the guys that started before he did got that opportunity. It didn't matter if they were lazy, had a bad attitude, or if they were just bad at their job. They had seniority. Eventually my brother left both of these jobs, and now he's making great money at a large defense manufacturer. I have a friend that was fired from his job a couple of days ago, which was essentially a two-man shop. They had a lathe guy and a mill guy. They were getting slow on their mills and had a ton of work for the lathes, so to help the company my buddy volunteered to learn the lathe. His manager told him no, and so he said if they weren't going to let him learn anything new, he was going to start looking for a new job. So they fired him on the spot. Now I know this guy, and he is good at what he does. So in the end, this will very likely be the best thing that's ever happened to him. I've personally worked a job or two where I worked as hard and as smart as I'm capable of nearly every day. I would put in hundreds of hours of overtime every year as a salaried employee and did my best to show that I cared about the success of the company. And every year, at review time, I would get a different excuse. Oh, the economy's doing bad right now, so we can only give you a 20 cent raise. Or, oh, gas prices are high right now, so our fuel costs are out of control. So just keep doing what you're doing, and next year we'll give you the raise you deserve. And then, after five years of hearing these excuses, I put in my two weeks notice and they offer me a huge raise to stay. Sorry, but you could have done that over the course of the last five years, so I'm done here. But what was important is that I never stopped working hard, no matter how disappointed I was in the lack of recognition or financial gain. And because of that, I had a good reputation among my coworkers. So whenever I would go look for a new job, people that I had worked with in the past knew I would be a good recommendation, and so I was never hurting for work. Had I allowed myself to be beaten down by my lack of success and developed a bad attitude or got lazy, there would have been several opportunities that I didn't get later on. I always keep a running list of great machinists, programmers, and engineers that I have worked with. And then when I find a great place to work, I try to drag them all with me. If you're working at one of these places that promises you rewards that you never receive, don't give up right away. It could be that those rewards actually are coming. Keep putting your best foot forward, forge good relationships with your managers and coworkers, and keep making the company money. But after five years or so, if you haven't gotten the respect that you deserve, just get out. Don't waste your life at a place that could care less about you or the well-being of your family. If you stay at a place like that for too long, you'll get beaten down into believing that you aren't worth the raises or promotions, and you'll end up having a long, unsatisfying career. Know your own value, and you may find that quitting a thankless job was the best move you ever made. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. What's up, everybody? This is Barry at Titans of CNC. What you just saw was the sickest slotting that I've done in my entire career.